Hello everyone, my name is Kermit. Welcome back to the Spider-Man Miles Morales Let's Play. I hope you guys are having a fantastic day today. We're going to pick up right where we left off in the Science Fair flashback with Finn and Miles. Since the mid -20th century, scientists have I need my fan pointed in my room because it's hot. Out your it's hot up in this bitch. I'm naming that one Howard. You name one. Uh, Leviathan. Love it! Howard and Leviathan. Fantastic. This model combines the design of a submarine with the deep sea integrity of an unmanned underwater vehicle. Oscorp's prototype would unlock new possibilities in humanity's ability to explore. That's you and dope. I gotta get one of these. Bet we could build one out of a vacuum cleaner and some old tires if we put our minds to it. No, we need to probably. God, this looks like some nautica shit. That's true. This model proposes a permanent residence beneath the waves. Today, New Yorkers are building up to save space. Tomorrow. We could be building beneath the, the only sea. issue with these is they do actually, what? they do have issues with sharks, uh, long-term. It's a no for me. Uh, they have issues with upkeep and stuff like that, and a lot of the ones that are still that are around are pretty much destroyed completely to a point. The Earth is bigger than you think. Ninety-five percent of the Earth's oceans remain unexplored and could be. The next frontier in human habitation. Apparently it's not that We're insane the now at this point. Know about our own planet. I think I think it's less than that now. This dive suit is one of the first developed in the early 18th century. The first pressure proof diving suit was developed with salvage work in mind. Today's suits such as these are used by salvage workers, scientists, and explorers. Think they'll let me try it on? Would love to see you try to walk around in that thing. It can't be worse than those shoes you wore to the spring dance. Oh, come on. Yours were at least an inch higher than mine. Special exhibits upstairs. There's the elevator. We've got time to look around first. All right, we're going to go to the rocket minigame first. We'll look at the other stuff in a minute. Ooh, we got to play. Oh, come on. It's just button mashing. So you admit defeat? Fighting games mm, in a never. nutshell. Oh, come on, rocket buddy! First try. Gotcha. Found something I'm better at than you. Not for long. Button mashing. Yeah, I'm totally better. Architectural innovations are the key to human survival on extraterrestrial planets. This model home would protect human inhabitants. This sounds like Lee from The Walking Dead. Check it out. You want a house on Mars? Calm down, Elon sure. Musk. If I could bring my mics, audio setup, sampler. They won't let you take all that. They will if they want good music on Mars. He's got a point. This model proposes a terraforming and housing initiative on Mars. Did Elon Musk make this? In the solar system. This community is designed to draw on abundant water and counteract low temperatures, making human life possible on the red planet. It's like a whole little community on Mars. Needs coffee shops and street art. Fucking Harlem. Just kidding. That actually does sound pretty cool. Scans for minerals carries people across toxic wastelands. What can't it do? Can you imagine driving this thing down fifth? Move, pedestrians. <laughs> <laughs> Looks like we got one more to explore. Government and privately owned spacecraft explore our planet, solar system, and galaxy. To communicate with them, scientists use radio antennas to send and receive messages across local and interstellar space. Oh, I bet the sound quality on these are dope. Oh my god, Not Miles. from space. Right, Do you have tickets for the special exhibit? Oh, um, 
our project is on display. Didn't think we needed tickets. You do, and we're sold out. Can't let you go upstairs. Thanks anyway. That's bullshit. I've never so heard of a museum or something like doing way. that, where there's people who literally have something on display and aren't allowed upstairs. She said there's no more tickets. Right. Let's see that door. The hallway behind it wraps around. Yeah, that's bullshit. I've never heard of something what? like that happening. I recognize that kind of lock. If you shine a light at it, it'll open. The flashlights on our phones will work. But they won't reach. They will if we find a way to slide something reflective under the door. Something reflective. It'd be nice to find something mutable. Mutable? You mean change its shape? Look at you breaking out the fancy vocab. <laughs> Shut up. Dude, random fucking person, get out of my way. Oh, hey, look. Solar mirrors. And sticky on the back. Perfect for tricking a light sensitive lock. Now we need something we could slide under the door. Something long and flat. Something that can be both. I saw an alloy display near where we came in. Maybe that has what we need. Shape memory alloy. I could change the shape on the museum app. This stuff is crazy. That's it. Take it. Don't let anyone see. Got it. Let's go. Whoa, oh, man. Oh. Sorry. All good. <gasps> I was wondering if we'd see Pete. It's Pete and Doc Ock. I'll attach the sticker. Let's get that door open. Oh my God! The external tools interface directly with the command module's computer. We could recreate the idea, but with the neural interface, it would overload our central power. If we integrated it over the entire mesh from multiple entry points. Look at them being nerds. I love it. This is either genius or really, really stupid. If we open our own research lab someday, that it's either genius or really, really stupid. Light. Tell That's me great. When the stickers pointed at the sensor, and I'll turn it on. No one's looking at us yet. Gotta hurry. Need something else. No, not quite. We gotta try again. There we go. That worked! We did it! That's genius. That was absolutely genius. That was awesome. I'm gonna miss doing stuff like this with you. What are you talking about? Uh, hello. You'll be at Brooklyn Visions next week. I won't. I'm not gonna vanish off the planet. We'll, we'll still hang out. You'll be busy. Not that busy. I'm gonna make time for us. Seriously. Oof. Okay. The pain. Ugh, this is getting mushy. Come on. Let's head upstairs. Hey, Dad. Hey, Miles. Hi, Mr. Davis. Ben says hi. You kids having fun? Make sure you get a picture of your project. Dad, it's not a big deal. It's totally a big deal. Okay, okay. We'll get a picture. Love you, Dad. Bye. Aw, oh, sadness. The flashback, man. This is it. Tug at the heart strings. I got the heart. She's here. But seriously, like, who's gonna? Burner all hooked up. Otherwise, what's the point? They'll need to feed biomass in, though. Maybe hook it up to a trash can. Like that's legit the question. Like, why would you that's not? Project. Why would you take a project to put on display but not let the people who made it get in? I guess it is Oscorp, so that kind of kind of checks out. Oh, oh, oh wait! Would you look at that? Genuine award-winning scientists. No one told us we were in the special exhibit. Ticket only. How'd you get in? Uh, I bought a ticket. How'd you get in? 
Not important. <laughs> hey, fell in love. We need a picture. You gotta be in it too. You helped us get it working. Okay, okay, fine, fine, fine. Scoot over. All right. Say alleles. I am not saying that. Dork. Absolute dorks, man. Every one of them. Rick, Finn, Miles, Peter, Ock. Dumb bitch, just listen for five seconds. God damn it. I had to tell her what happened to the reactor. Don't, don't let it follow the keeper! I mean, excuse me? You guys can't hit a moving target. That, that is good. not my fault. He's in the air, yeah, because I just proved you guys can't hit a fucking moving target. Ask me how I managed to not get that hit. Combo. Assholes, man. Shut the fuck up, bitch. God damn it. I need to get to Harlem. Now. Before Finn destroys the reactor. What a decent sized fucking combo there, too. Yankee, talk to me. How's the evacuation going? Back. Rocks on and underground are all over. It's like a war zone. Are like you a safe? war zone, you say? Mom? We made it. This was about a dozen people. You're breaking up. Where are you? Yankee! Swear to God, Can you hear me? I'm on my way. Hang tight, man. Please. I need more fucking mines, man. I don't get those mines fast enough, unfortunately. I've never seen a storm this bad. Stop the war in Harlem, Jesus Christ. That's a, that's a fucking phrase right there, man. That's a mission right there. There we go. 
Genki, can you hear me? Genki! Hang on, guys. I'm coming. Oh, 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 it's giving me issue. That, that was terrifying. What the f Find a fourth day in the barbershop look okay. But I need to push the fighting away from here. Camila! Are you with Caleb? Are you okay? See, we're with Gloria and the kid. This is bad. It's the crest all over again. It won't get that far. I won't let it. Keep your head down till I secure the street. Dude, what? What even fucking hit me? Dude. Really? So you wanna fucking go about it? You wanna keep shooting me, motherfucker? You ain't neutralizing shit, bitch. There's so many fucking people shooting me right now, and I'm getting so fucking tired of it. We'll just let that take care of him. Or not. to hit a moving target and I wouldn't have and I wouldn't have to stop moving asshole I was so confused when he said man I hope Spider-Man's okay and I realized I'm like oh right there's Spider-Man the cat. Really? Because I'm not the one using guns, you fucking cheap little bitches. Seriously. Get your stupid little fucking catching things out of here. I 
That was cool. Double teamed him with the hollow drone, like a boss. Genki! Genki, where are you? Can you guys make a break for it? Who's that? Someone there! Guys! Guys! Listen, hey! We need to get out of here. But I can only carry some of you. Oh, oh no. Oh, she started already. Get out of here, young blood. You've got more important things to do. He's right. Go. We'll get people clear. Oh, look I'll at be that. back. I know. Okay, people. Check every door. We don't leave anyone behind. No! You don't know what you're doing. They deserve what's coming to them. No, the reactor. Krieger changed the specs. You're not just going to destroy Roxxon Plaza. You're gonna vaporize all of Harlem! I'm not gonna let you lie to me again! If you had not been so busy trying to kill Rhino, you would have fucking known this, you dumb bitch! You're too late. God, you fucking idiot. Yes, because he's totally gonna lie about you're about to vaporize Harlem, you dumb fucking bitch. Yeah. Instead of using your brain and listening to somebody for five seconds, you decide to be a bitch. Got it. Stop me. numbers before you change the specs you idiot use your brain I don't want to fight we'll talk after I disable the react Just wanted to 
chime in and let you know so you don't work. We're gonna be just fine if this building well, Hell, we'll be fine if all of Harlem blows. I mean, do you have any idea what kind of insurance we've got? Huh, the optics being the victims of a terrorist attack? <laughs> we'll get rocks on Plaza. Coming soon. Rocks on city. Right, God damn it, Troy Baker. Stop being so god damn charismatic. Damn it, dude, I hate that fucking thing. So I'm... Oh, really? I wasn't trying to knock her off the edge, it just kinda happened. Damn it, he's whipping me around again. I'm done listening. You never started. He's got a point, she didn't. God damn it, dude. I can't even can I not dodge that? You won't stop me! Then I'll go down trying. In one of these situations. Oh, for of course. He with the Amazing Spider-Man rather than Spider-Man No Way Home. I'm sorry. It's okay. Oh, that's got to be a rough landing.
Come on, Miles. Just a little further. Well, if I could run, I'd I'd be there already, Miles. Come on. This is gonna be the explanation of how he doesn't have venom powers in the next game. I feel like he's not gonna have venom powers in the next game. I feel like this is gonna be the explanation. Get them far away. I can't hold this in much longer. Fucking infamous first light. I, I can't. It's okay. I can't. Just let go. Let go. How is he gonna survive this fall, though? Yeah, no way in hell he's surviving this fall. Bullshit. Bullshit. Miles is dead. Bullshit. No, please. Oh, Miles. Oh, God. Say something. Bullshit. Is everyone okay? We're safe. All of us. Damn, that's dope looking. Nope. Nope. Nope, you're not gonna get me, Spider Man. Never. Never. <clears throat> <clears throat> I'm fine. <clears throat> Fantastic over here. Hey, get out of here, kid. We'll take care of them. Did you see his face? You did good, Spider-Man. Thanks. Who is he? That guy? He's Spider-Man. He's our Spider-Man. Damn right.
That self-sacrifice at the end, though. Holy... Depressing! What the fuck, game? <laughs> Why you gotta try to make me cry? Come on, those are clearly deep fakes. They're deep fakes! You understand me? Do you have any idea who I am? I will own you! Yeah, will... yeah, we know who you are. I will own you! Do you hear me? Charismatic idiot. That's right, friend. K. The Prowler flipped on <laughs> him and too. Roxon. Davis will serve time, but could get a reduced sentence. I think we can all learn something from what happened in Harlem. Together, we're stronger. And that having your own neighborhood Spider-Man is pretty great. Looking good, Haley. Ah, uh, the no music thing is awkward, though. You dork. Get over that suit. So cool. Gotta be me. Yeah, you do. Pete, does this job ever get easier? Some of it, yeah. Some things never get easier, though. Roxon did this uptown because they saw us as disposable. Me, Rick, Ben. All of Harlem. But I think part of our job is making sure they can't get away with it. We'll add it to the Spider Man oath. <laughs> Dork. Go time? Go time. God, I can't wait for the second game. Or third, I guess third game, but you guys know what I mean. Spider-Man 2. Fantastic. Fan-fucking-tastic. I love this game. This was so much fun to play through. We're gonna skip that, because obviously I don't have the music playing, so... To make it awkward, we're gonna let this... Is that... Oh, oh it's Harry! Oh, they're having a big teaser for the next game. It's Harry. Or er, not Harry. Oh, oh, it's Kurt. It's Connors. Oh my God, it's Lizard. Mr. Osborne, I understand he's your son, but he's I want his car. Kurt. But we may be underestimating the potential danger. I said! Get him out! Now! Okay, so... If the thought process is correct, we're getting Lizard in the next game as well, I would assume. And the only reason, the only reason I can say that is because Kurt Connors, they wouldn't just show Kurt Connors for no reason. I don't think they would show the man who becomes Lizard. For no, wait, didn't he already say Lizard's in the game, though? Now that I think about it, isn't Lizard in the first, like, already mentioned? Goodbye, yeah.
Congratulations! You have finished the main story, but the adventure continues. You can now revisit previously completed missions with mission replay in the pause menu or previously completed FNSM activities in the FS FNSM app. You can now change the time of day in the options menu as well. You can start a fresh adventure with ultimate difficulty for add challenge or start new game plus to restart with all your gear and skills and locking ones. Alright, so I hope you guys uh, have enjoyed. We don't have any skill points, so I can't get any skills, unfortunately. We have no... I'm assuming we don't have anything to buy gadgets with. Yeah. Alright, so I hope you guys have enjoyed this episode. Oh, there's a skill point. Oh, we got two. Sweet. There's one. And there's two. Alright. So, I hope you guys have enjoyed. I'll see you all in the next episode. Did I just put a custom waypoint back? What the fuck? Oh, yeah. <laughs> I'll see you guys in the next episode. Stay golden. Peace.